Neva Circus Center is a nonprofit. Uh, we are here to bring circus to the community and bring both recreational circus but also professional circus training. Many people have asked me, why are you doing this? And I've always been athletic. I haven't always been coordinated, but I've been athletic. And I was dyslexic, and I always tried really hard at everything I did. And I always tumble and fall, and I would get up and do it again and do it again. So when someone says, wow, oh, you're amazing what you did or what you do, I always go back to the point where, yeah, I started off here, and then I worked my way up. The, the, the stretch is you working it. If you just rest, it doesn't do anything. And 10, the circus is community, people working together. It's you challenging yourself as an individual, but it's also helping other people reach their goals. Because it's not just me doing my thing, it's uh, me supporting other people so that they can reach their goals, or as a, as a group, reach our goals. Strong hands, hands, strong hands, good. And tuck them, tuck, 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 tuck. Good, push strong. Now can resist, keep it up there, keep it up there. Come on, keep it up there, keep, keep it up, 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 up. I'm Julia Lafferty and I've been involved with circus for about four years. I've been training ever since San Diego Circus Center opened. Um, I study handstands, tight wire, a little bit of duo trapeze, and hand to hand. What's your favorite? Tight wire, yeah, I love it. <laughs> But more than anything, I love that she's just found something that she's passionate about. One day we both showed up at the same time for handstand practice and Jean-Luc looks at us and like kind of sizes us up and goes, you know what, I have this crazy idea duo trapeze together. And, and shortly after this space here in Miramar came together and we started training together now about, it's been about three months and it's just clicking and coming along. We're improving a lot faster than I ever expected. We come about six days a week, two to three hours a day. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of time and a lot of work, <laughs> but it's worth it and I love it. It's paying off for sure. Doing with what we do, it's a, it's a village under a big top. You know, we used to travel in the, in, the, uh, in the circus and we'd go to New York or San Francisco or London and it was always the same thing under that big top. Well, it's the same thing here. It's, it's a village. It's all the same people. So as a nonprofit, we have to, uh, we all have to work together to walk out the big top and make magic. If you look around us here, you can see all these things hanging from the ceiling. Well, um, taught properly, the circus arts are very safe. And uh, while, you see, while you see these rather dramatic uh, and intricate acts, uh, it's all based on many, many years and lots of time and training and development. So they're, they're very, very safe. And John Luke, that's the key to uh, the San Diego Circus Center. Otherwise, we wouldn't be involved if we weren't, uh, didn't have great confidence in his training and, and all of his instructors. So it's like a stepping stone. You don't just all of a sudden learn the trick, the difficult ones. You start slowly and it's up to the coach, the teacher, to decide, well, they're ready to go the next step. And it's up to us to know how to bring that next step on, so it's progressions. John Lou has been a joy to work with. He offered a level of, of training. The kids were able to learn so much and to learn it so properly and to, um, I don't know, their skills advanced tremendously. Um, they had the opportunity to perform in a bunch of different places. They've continued to enjoy their love of circus and um, the community that of other kids that they um, perform and practice with.